James Comey will begin his testimony under oath before the Senate Intelligence Committee in less than an hour now. Republican Jim Risch of Idaho is one of the 15 senators who will question him today. So here's a look at the seating chart for this morning's hearing. Risch, as you can see, will be seated right next to the chairman. He's been a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee since 2009, and he joins us now from Capitol Hill. Senator, big day today. Listen, big doings, no question about big it. Big doings is right. <laughs> there are reports that several of your colleagues either rewrote or revised their questions after seeing Comey's <laughs> opening statements. Were you one of those? Uh, no, I hadn't. Uh, didn't have any uh, questions written down before that. But uh, what's your focus uh, I, I today? I think that was very. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. Well, well I, first of all, I was glad to get that seven pages. I mean, it's clear. It's concise. Uh, 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 Jim Comey did an excellent job in uh, in putting that together, and uh, uh, it's it's going to make it a lot easier for people questioning him today. Mm -hmm. So, what will be your focus today? What are you mostly interested in now that you've heard what he has to say? Well, uh, obviously, uh, uh, I'm interested in the uh, in him confirming the uh, what he said in the seven pages. I, I'm sure he's not going to vary uh, from that, uh, really, probably in any way, shape, or form. Uh, he's a bright guy. He's uh, he's a person that's highly respected. He's a good lawyer. Uh, I'm an old prosecutor. He's an old prosecutor. Uh, uh, th this is not unfamiliar ground for uh, either of us. Uh, I've been through a thousand investigations. Uh, uh, while I was a uh, prosecutor and charging decisions. So, um, look, we're, we're going to uh, try to get to uh, laying this thing out for the American people. And I think, I think his seven pages have answered a lot of questions. There were nine reported one on one meetings between the President of the United States and his FBI director. Highly unusual. What questions does that raise for you? Well, uh, you know, uh, first of all, this is an unorthodox presidency. So uh, when things like this happen, uh, uh, I, I guess uh, it's uh, the way that uh, the president does business. And uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, he is uh, not prohibited from meeting with people who work for him. Indeed, I would think that uh, most people who have uh, people working for them, particularly their management team, particularly people high up, you'd want to meet with uh, relatively frequently to talk about things that, uh, that are important. So well, the, former uh, the, FBI number, director, the number, I guess what I'm getting at is the number doesn't bother me. The former FBI director thought it was unusual, and that's why he details that he started to take memos of each of those meetings, including a dinner that occurred inside the White House, just the two of them on January 27th. And Mr. Comey writes in his letter that this, that he thought that the dinner was, at least in part, an effort to have me ask for my job and create some sort of patronage relationship. Would that be appropriate to have a patronage relationship between the president and the FBI director? Well, I don't know what the I, I don't I read the conclusion and I didn't hear all the words that were spoken at the dinner. So I don't know uh, how that conclusion was reached. But uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, the president employs the uh, uh, that position along with all other positions. So uh, again, I, I think we're going to hear more about it today. And, and I'm reluctant to either criticize or defend without hearing more about it. But now, Senator, if it's all correct in turn, he confirms everything that's in that opening statement. What question does that raise for you? Uh, I, th I think more importantly, uh, it doesn't raise the questions as much as it uh, confirms answers to questions uh, that I've had. I want to drill down a little bit uh, uh, on some of those to make sure that I'm understanding right uh, uh, of exactly what he's saying. Got it. Thank well, you. Thank you, Senator Risch. Appreciate you bet. it. Thank you.